So let's start with 6.5, number one. How do we get this two to look like a three or a six or a combination of three and six? Awesome. Log base 5 of 6 divided by 3. Now how can we split this up into two different logs? Since we're dividing, we subtract. So we have log base 5 of 6 minus log base 5 of 3. And then we just plug in what log of 6 is log base 5 of 6, so that would be 1.113 minus log base 5 of 3, which is 0 0.683. What do you get when you subtract these? 0 0.43. Let's look at number 3. How can we get 9 to look like a 6 or a 3 or both? 3 squared. So we have log base 5 of 3 squared. What do we do with that squared up top? Move it to the front. So we have 2 log base 5 of 3. Log base 5 of 3 is 0.683. So this is 2 times 0.683. What do we get? 1.366. But you got the same answer? Yeah, I got log 5 plus log 5. That works because you could do log base 5 of 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 3 squared. And then to break it up, you add them. So you can do it that way and you'll get the same answer. For these questions, you have to do it this way. You cannot use the change of base formula. I need to see your work. So in order to get credit for questions like these, have to show your work, and you have to do it this way. You can't just put it in your calculator. Any questions? All right, number four. We need to expand the logarithm. So how can we expand this? log base 3 of 12. Plus seven log base three of x. Awesome. So log base 3 of x to the 7th power. Then we move the 7 to the front. So yes, log base 3 of 12 plus 7 log base 3 of x. For these, you have to move the exponent up top out front. So that's just part of condensing it. You got to move the exponent. We just want one term to be after the log. So that log base 3 stays the same throughout. Since we started with log base 3, it stays the same. We have log base 3 and log base 3. And then we just want one term after each. So our goal is to break it up until we just get one term, one variable, one number, just one after that log base 3. Any questions here? Thank you. Number 5. How can we expand this? If we're dividing, what do we do to expand? Subtract. So we have log base 6 of 5 times x squared minus log log base 6 of y cubed. What else can we do? Move the exponents to the front. So I can move this 3 up front here. But I want to break up that 5 times x squared before I move that exponent. So what can I do to expand 
the first log that I have. Awesome. Log base 6 of 5 plus 2 log base 6 of x minus 3 log base 6 of y. Yes, Casey? Do you have to show it the wrong way on the Just show your work. Whatever you need to do to show your work. Okay, for number 6. First thing we want to do is get rid of this radical here. How can we get rid of that? Change it to an exponent. Change it to the exponent of one half. All right, so we change it to the exponent of one half. So we have log base eight of six. What has the exponent of one half? X, Y, both of them, one of them. Since they're both under the radical, they both have the exponent of 1 half. Now what can I do to expand? Log base 8 of 6 plus, log, plus 1 half log base 8 of x plus one half log like this yeah. perfect any questions here you guys on zoom good with these all right Mr. Parker? yes uh, what number five if we didn't um break down 5x squared would it be wrong Yes. Like if we just left it, oh. So you have to expand it completely. So since you're multiplying here, got to expand it by adding. So just like I said, you need one term. So either a variable or a number after your log. So one, one, one. Here we have three things going on. So we got to expand it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, number eight. For these, we're condensing. So what can we do to condense this? If we're subtracting. Perfect. We divide. So log base 7 of 3 over 5. So remember, when you condense, you want to just condense it to have one log. So you only need the word log one time. Any questions here? All right, number 10. How do we condense it? What should we do first? Awesome. We want to move the numbers out front as our exponents first. So this becomes an x cubed and a y to the ninth power. And then how can we condense it just to be 1 ln? Awesome. So we just multiply them. No. You don't have to put parentheses. But it doesn't hurt. Like you could put parentheses here also. It doesn't make a difference. All right, it's number 12. Actually, let's skip 12 and 14 and go to 9 and 10 down below because these are still condensing. So let's look at number 9. What can we do to condense this? Put the 1 fourth as the exponent. What else can we do? Combine. How can we combine? Awesome. So we multiply them. Since we're adding it, we condense it by multiplying. Any questions here? Yeah, if you want to change this to log base 8 of 5 and the fourth root of x, you can do that. Same thing. Number 10. What can we do to condense this? What should we do first? 
So all the exponents up top. So this is 4 squared ln of x to the 5th power and ln of y cubed. What else can we do? Multiply them. So we have ln, what is 4 squared? 16. And then times x to the 5th power times y cubed. Again, if you want to put parentheses, if you don't want to put them, it's fine. Same thing. Any questions here? Okay, number 12. We have to use the change of base formula to solve. So what goes on top in our change of base formula? Log 3. What goes on the bottom? Log 5. What do you get when you put this in the calculator? 0 0.68. 3. Everybody agrees? Super. So I'll get 14. What goes on top? Log of 10 over log of 6. What do you get when you put this in the calculator? 1.285. Everybody agrees? Yeah. Awesome. So that is it for 6.5. Any questions? All right, 6.6. .6. Number one, we have to solve the equation. So what should we do to solve this? What do we do first? Even easier than putting log of 6 below both of them. The 6s just cancel out. Since they're the same, we just set the exponents equal to each other. So x minus 7 is equal to 2x plus 3. And we solve for x. So what can we do first to solve for x? Subtract x on both sides. Subtract x on both sides. And what else? Subtract 3 on both sides. Subtract 3. So negative 7 minus 3 negative is negative 10. Negative 10 is equal to x. Any questions here? Awesome. Let's look at number three. So here, our bases aren't exactly the same. What should we do? We can change the nine to three squared. So the reason why we can't make the three squared because then we'd be changing the value of three to nine. So just be careful with that that we just change the way 9 looks and make it 3 squared. It doesn't change the value. 3 squared is still 9. We're just changing the way it looks. We can't change 3 to 3 squared because that would be changing 3 to be 9. We can't change the value. So what do we do with that squared and the x minus 3 on the right side? How do we, what do we do with them? Multiply them. So I'm going to distribute it out. We have 2x minus 3. So this is 3 to the power of 2x minus 6 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 1. What can I do next? 3's cancel. So I have x plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 6. What else can I do? Add 6 and subtract x. So I have 7 is equal to x. Any questions here? All right. Yes. All right, let's look at number 4. What should I do first? I can't change 13 to look like a 6, so how can I get that x from out of my exponent? Log with what base? Awesome. Log base 6 on both sides. 
And the reason why I want it to be a 6 is because that would get this to cancel. So what am I left with on the left side? 4x is equal to log base 6 of 13. What do I have to do next? Change of base formula. So log of 13 over log of 6. I want to put this into my calculator and get whatever that is and divide it by 4. So what do I get for x? 0 0.358. Everybody agrees? Awesome. All right, number six. What do I have to do here? Add seven on both sides. So I have four e squared x is equal to eight. What do I do next? Divide four on both sides. So e to the power of two x is equal to two. How do I get that x from out of the exponent? Awesome, I want to take the ln of both sides. So the ln of e cancels. So I have 2x is equal to the ln of 2. And then divide 2 on both sides. So x is equal to, what do you get when you put the ln of 2 divided by 2 in your calculator? 0 0.347. Everybody agrees? Maybe? Yes. Any questions on these? Awesome. Let's look at number eight. How can we solve this equation? Right. Both are right. We could make our big base E on both sides to get the LNs to cancel, or the LNs just cancel. If you have LN of something is equal to LN of something, the LNs just cancel. So we have 3x minus 8 is equal to x plus 6. How do we solve for x next? Subtract x on both sides. So 2x minus 8 is equal to 6, and then what? Add 8. 2x is equal to 14. What do you get for x? 7. Seven. All right, what about for number 10? What can we do? The logs cancel. So I have 4x plus 1 is equal to 25. Subtract 1 on both sides. So 4x is equal to 24. Divide by 4. What do I get for x? Awesome. Number 12. Here I only have one log, so how can I get rid of that log? We make the big base 10. So since this log doesn't have a base written, it's implied that that little base is 10. And to get it to cancel, we write our big base 10. What we do on one side, we have to do to the other. So this 10, log base 10 cancels. So I'm left with 10x minus 7 is equal to 10 to the third power. What's 10 to the third power? 1,000. How do I solve for x? Add 7. 10x is equal to 1,007. Divide by 10 x is equal to 100.7, like the radio station. Any questions there? All right, let's do 14. Here I have two logs on one side of my equation. I want to condense it to just one log so I can get that to cancel. How do I condense this to one log? Multiply. So I have log base 2 of x times x minus 3 is equal to 2. So I just condensed it to one log. Now how can I get rid of that log in my equation? Make the big base 2. So 2 to the power of log base 2 cancels. And I'm left with 
x times x minus 3 is equal to, what is 2 squared? 2 squared. 4. Well, what's x times x? x squared. And then x times negative 3. Negative 3x three is equal to 4. What should I do next? Subtract the 4. So x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. What's next? What are my factors of negative 4 that add to negative 3? Negative 4 and 1. So I write that as x minus 4 times x plus 1. What do I get for x? 4 and negative 1. Are those my answers? No. You are too quick. We have to plug them in to check. If we plug in 4, 4 works because both of them would be positive. But if we plug in negative 1, we would be taking the log of a negative number, and you can't take the log of a negative number. So negative 1 does not work, so our answer is just 4. Any questions here? All right, next one. For 16, we're going to skip because we would need to take the big base of e on both sides, get the ln to cancel, and then we would have x squared plus 4x is equal to e cubed. We wouldn't be able to factor this if this was minus equal to 0. We can't factor this because we don't have two factors of e cubed that give us 4. We'd have to use a graphing calculator for this, so you won't have a question like this one on the quiz. Uh, one or two. Or is it e? You could get one that like has ln and you'll have to use e, but it won't be one where you have to factor. So it won't be like an x squared. It would just be like if we ignored this ln of x and we just had ln of x plus 4 is equal to 3. How can we get rid of that ln? Make our big base e. Right, yeah. So this cancels, so we have x plus 4 is equal to e cubed. So x is equal to e cubed minus 4. And then you could put this into the calculator. So you could have one like this. You won't have one that has like an x squared and an e to some exponent in it. All right, number 10. What should we do first? Big base 2. This cancels. So 3x plus 12 is equal to, what is 2 to the fourth power? 16. What do I have to do next? Subtract 12. So 3x is equal to 4. What do I do next? Divide by 3. x is equal to 4 over 3. If you want to put this into the calculator and get some decimal, totally fine. It's the same thing. If you want to leave it as a fraction, also fine. Any questions on that one? So that was number 10. All right, number 12. What do we do here? Big base 2. Big base 2. This cancels, so x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to, what is 2 to the fourth power? 16. What do I do next? Subtract 16. I'm going to move it to the side over here to give me some more room. So I have x squared minus 2x. If I subtract 16 on both sides, what's 1 minus 16? Negative 15. Do I have two factors of negative 15 that add to negative 2? 
negative 5 and 3. So x minus 5 times x plus 3. What do I get for x? x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 3. If I plug both of these in here, do they both work? Yeah. yeah. I get a positive number when I plug both of them in. So my answers are 5 and negative 3. So just because it's negative doesn't mean that it doesn't work automatically. You have to plug it in and check. So if I plugged in negative 3, I still got a positive number. So I'm taking the log of a positive. I'm all good. Any questions? All right, let's look at 14. 14 is another one where you would get the x squared with e to the fifth power. So you wouldn't have one like this on the quiz. So we can skip 14. So we don't have to worry about 14. Let's do 16. How can we condense this to one log? So log base 3 of what? Negative x times x plus 8. How can I get rid of that log? Big base 3. So 3 log base 3 cancels. So I have negative x times x plus 8. What is 3 squared? 9. What can I do next? Distribute the negative x. So I have negative x squared minus 8x is equal to 9. I could subtract in the 9, but instead of doing that, I want to make my x squared positive, just to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to add x squared to move it to the other side and add 8x. So I'm just moving everything to the right to make it positive. You could always move the 9 to the left and then divide by negative. Totally works. However you want to do it, that's fine. So I have 0 is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 9. Do I have two factors of 9 that add to 8? No. So this one you'd have to use the quadratic from here. So you won't have any like that on the quiz again, so don't worry about it. We don't have to factor it from here. So since we don't have two factors of 9, you would use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. But you won't have any like that on the quiz, so don't worry about it. Any questions? Let's say we move the 9 to the other side. So this would be negative x squared minus 8x minus 9. We don't want a negative out here, so we could divide everything by negative 1, which would make this x squared plus 8x plus 9. So again, we end up with the same as here, and we can't factor it from here. Oh, okay. But the ones on your quiz, you will be able to factor.